Uh, hi, uh, so I'm going to be talking about linguistics here, so I, I hope everyone is interested. Uh, the bad big wolf meets Riding Hood Little Red, okay? So something here is obviously a me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I, did. I, I need more time. Ten minutes. I just wanted to move the cur cursor, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Something here is obviously a miss. And by that I mean that uh, Riding Hood Little Red, of course, sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? No, it's, it's just not red. And it's Okay, sure. Yeah, Little Red Riding Hood, you know the phrase, it's popular, so perhaps uh, an unpopular phrase like Elephant Purple will sound right, but no, it doesn't sound right at all. So uh, that's the thing. English has prepositive adjectives. And Many other languages don't, like for example, the Romance languages don't, like Spanish, French, Italian, and also languages like Arabic, uh, Persian, but uh, many other languages do, like English, my native Bulgarian, Russian, Chinese, many others. And of course, the right way to say it in English is Little Red Riding Hood and Purple Elephant, and but in other languages would be the opposite side, Caperucita Roja in Spanish or Elephant Violet in French. Okay, you got it. But sometimes, sometimes English allows post-positive adjectives. If you want to say, if you want to, to be archaic or poetic, say the, the, the sounds of ghosts unseen or something. Or if you, if in certain borrowed phrases from, from Romance languages like Era Parent or Terra Incognita. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> but also, but also, uh, there was another thing in the title. It was Bad Big Wolf. So this doesn't sound right, of course. Uh, but not as wrong as writing for Little Red, but uh, certainly not that right. So, um, humans, the thing is, prefer a certain order of adjectives, and I do mean humans, it's not an English only thing, it's typically true for most human languages, and it comes with the handy acronym of GZAKPM. <laughs> um, and this means general opinion, specific opinion, size, shape, age, color, origin, material, this order of adjectives is typical for most human languages. And th that's why a big brown wooden spoon sounds correct, and wooden brown big spoon and brown big wooden spoon just sound like, make you sound like a maniac. <laughs> um, there are exceptions to gzakpm, uh, and they're mostly governed by specificity. Uh, like idioms. Idioms have a combination of words which are, mean something, but well, that no, neither of those words means, means when it's on, on its own, like last straw. It, it's not the last straw, literally. And there are idiom-like phrases, like big spender, for example, uh, which, although have a literal meaning, do typically come together. So that's a big evil man, but an evil big spender. And big bad wolf, bad big wolf. If you were paying attention, you would have seen that this doesn't correspond to gzakpm. It, uh, it should be bad big wolf because bad is an opinion and big is a size. There is another thing called upload reduplication, which means that, that's, that's typical English thing though. Uh, vowels in the order of I, A, O typically sound good to us in English. That's why you have hip hop and not hop hip. We have tat, tit for tat and not tat for tit. Though sometimes you do have tat for tit, no. It happens. And now I have a small interlude. Uh, where you can prepare your tomatoes because you're not gonna like what I'm about to say. <laughs> what does this have to do with C++? You can, you can have your int, right? It's, it's, it's a type, it's a noun. You can add adjectives to it, this noun, like unsigned, and <laughs> maybe something else. Now, who here is, is familiar with the East Coast, West Coast rivalry in American hip hop? No one? Okay. Now, some say that, uh, like, East Coast has obviously, it's obviously the winner, and, and well, let's see about that. Um, English is the lingua franca of software engineering. Great, well, that's ironic because English, well, lingua franca means <laughs> French language. <laughs> And it's in Italian, but okay. English is the lingua franca of software engineering. Uh, and programming languages are made for human beings, and of course, great effort is put into us, like 
uh, into educating us to create proper names in proper English of types and variables and the like. Um, an int noun, unsigned int is an idiom like phrase, const int is a correct English, and int const is incomprehensible gibberish. <laughs> and some people would say that uh, you could have an integer constant where integer is the adjective, uh, but that, that, that's not consistent because that's, that's const method, or you can have a const pointer and not method const or pointer const, method constant, pointer constant. One never says such things, does he? Uh, and so unless you're French <laughs> or, or a Shakespearean, there's only one correct thing you could say, quest const. And I still have some seconds, so uh, some, some, uh, some proponents of West Const insist on calling it Const West because Const goes first, you see, but again, no, this doesn't correspond to Xactum, doesn't correspond to, to Ablot uh, reduplication, and it's only proper in the context of the next child of Kenya and Kim. Two seconds away from me.